Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, we're gonna to be going and fertilizing the burr oak trees. And to do that, we're gonna be using these Job's fertilizer spikes. I only bought one bag and I figured out based on the tree diameter how many I'm going to use on each tree. So on number one, I'm going to use two spikes, but I'm going to do this different than what you normally do. Normally, you put a little cap on these and pound them into the ground. I'm going to do it with a shovel wherever possible. I'm going to bring a hammer along just in case I need to hammer them in, but for the most part, it just rained yesterday. The ground is pretty soft. What I want to do is push the shovel in as far as it goes and then drop the fertilizer down into the hole and just step the spot back in. When you pound these in, they're right at the surface and the grass in that area will use up a whole bunch of the fertilizer and you're going to have like a big mound where the grass has all that extra fertilizer. This way it gets down below the grass roots and is available almost exclusively for the tree roots. Should show you this real quick as well. This is some pretty good stuff. I never got this before. This is an organic all-purpose garden soil and for the most part, it looks like 100% compost, which is just fine. It says it feeds up to three months, so it probably has added fertilizer in it, but I really didn't see any. What I did is filled a pot with it, and I planted my blue grandma seed in there, got it watered. I had to get that done today because I planted the blue grandma seed yesterday, and it rained all day after that and part of today. So that stuff could be coming up any time now and I need something to compare it with. Okay, it looks like we're gonna have both a cat and a dog with us on this trip, which will be fun. All right, I need to find my hammer, get this in the back here. This won't take long. This should be a fairly short video.
I'll introduce you to my helpers real quick, mostly her. This is our filly, Frankie. She's really interested in this camera. She's a big girl. We got her when she was 10 months old and now she is almost three, I believe. We are gonna be selling her in a short while. Natalie moved out, so she really can't have horses here because we're taking care of them. And these guys escaped two nights ago. They are running around in that field. I had just got done working all day and sat down to supper. I was the only one home and got a call that the horses were out. So I had to go deal with that. I gotta go around and check on my new trees. I have nothing to guard them. We just had to put the horses in here because they escaped. They had no grass in that other pasture. Got one tree right there, it looks just fine. And there's two more down that way. So far, so good. It looks like I only need to put, oh, I'll probably put four T-posts around each of these. So it's gonna take a while. Hopefully I can get that done tomorrow while the ground is still all damp. Okay, so I started with that very first tree up there. That one has the most leaves, but this one right here is probably the biggest. I can't remember what the measurement was at the end of the year last year, but oh, it's pushing 10 feet tall now, and I'm guessing it's gonna be over 11 and close to 12 feet tall by the end of this year. So as far as dosage, some of these only got a half a spike and I actually broke that and I actually broke the half a spike into quarter inch chunks and made two holes. None of them have one hole with all the fertilizer. They have at least two and some of them have three, three half spikes and these bigger ones, this one, that one, and the very first one, those all have two spikes with each spike broken in half, so four spots. And what you do, basically you can just take the shovel. I put all that stuff away, unfortunately, but you could take the shovel and line it up with the drip line and you can go out just a little bit from there and plunge your shovel in as far as it'll go, open the hole up, and then I pushed the chunks of fertilizer down as far as they would go and step the hole back closed. Like I said, that'll keep the grasses from using up a big chunk of the fertilizer. If you've ever done just the spikes before, you'll know that you get a big mound of really nice tall grass right over where you put the spike. And we really don't need that. We want all of the fertilizer to go to these trees. This one here, is the second biggest tree and if you're new to the channel i do an assessment at the end of each year i get a caliper on the size of the trunk and give my overall opinion on the health of the tree and i get a height it's going to be a little harder to do the heights this year because these are going to get really tall at some point i'm going to have to estimate the height i'll show you how to do that as well but We'll have a few reports on this during the summer as well. The next fertilizing on these will be in the fall. Once the leaves start turning colors, I'll fertilize these again for the winter. And I believe next year I'm going to drill fertilizer in and that'll be the last year for fertilizer. I may fertilize these one year after that. I'm not sure. The fertilizer helps them get a real good start, but after a point, they get mycorrhizae growing on the roots and they really don't need fertilizer. We'll see. I might go six years on the fertilizer, which would be next year and the year after. But like I said, we'll have to see how they do. Yeah, these don't look all that great, these leaves. Those leaves look way better and they're redder in color. Don't know why that is, but these generally look just fine later in the year. Yeah, they got a bit of insect damage, and yeah, that looks like mostly insect damage. Yeah, they should be okay. 
All right, so if you want to see the progress of these trees or the Oak Savannah Restoration Project in general, I'm going to be doing a ton of cutting in this area this summer. This is going to be all opened up and native grasses are going to be all planted through here. So it's going to be real cool. So if you want to see all that, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.